What is up guys? Hope everyone is doing well because I'm doing just fine. Welcome back to today's video. Guys, today's video we're going to talk about something that's very important or something that's happening right now. Something that's taking the world by storm. By the world, I mean Africa. By Africa, I mean one specific country that has a great amount of influence on Africa. Nigeria. And I'm sure you guys have probably heard of the word SARS. S-A-R-S. -S, that's SARS. I'm sure you guys probably heard of it. To some country, it might mean different thing. Like to me specifically, I'm in a country called South Africa. SARS is a department of tax where they take your money. In Nigeria, however, it means different thing. Now, in Nigeria, it's an abbreviation of for police department. In Nigeria, SARS actually means Special Anti Robbery Squad. You know what I mean? They stand against robbery. Now, it's a squad that was created in 1992 in order to deal with crimes such as robbery, vehicle theft, kidnapping, you know, all sort of crimes. That specific squad was created for that. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call them police because they're actually police force. So right now, there's a huge protest that's going on around. I mean, you probably have seen that all around already. You probably have seen that on your social medias, maybe on your WhatsApp status, you know, people saying, um, end SARS, end SARS. Maybe probably on your Instagram where you find some posts saying and SARS, you know, and SARS. You probably have a Nigerian friend that, you know, that's, you know, talking about this thing. The hashtag and SARS protest in Lagos experienced another bout of violence. At the early hours of Thursday, a video surfaced online showing hoodlums, wooden sticks and machetes. No! and I'm protesting in Nigeria. Why? Because I want Nigeria to change. And SARS, and SWAT, and everything. And everything! It is huge, you know what I mean? It's huge and it's very depressing to know what's really happening, like, you know, what police are actually using the power for. Okay, to us normal human beings, when we think of police, we think of people that are actually protecting us, you know, keeping us safe from uh, bad things like crimes and all that stuff, you know. They're the people that we actually call upon when we need help, you know what I mean? So. When you think of police, you think of a good person, like you think of a good guy. I don't think police are bad people. I just think they're just misusing their power for uh, a whole lot of reasons. I mean, you can't, first of all, you cannot fight with the policeman. You cannot fight the policeman. You cannot even touch him or push him or do something that's, you know, unconstitutional or whatever. You know what I mean? They're using their power now for a lot of bad things, you know what I mean, to hurt people. Like where they're just brutally shooting people for no reason. Right now, in Nigeria, right now, you know, if you are looking, oh, look, guys, just a disclaimer out there. I'm not a Nigerian. I'm just speaking because they're in Africa and I'm in Africa. I'm an African. So this actually affects me as well. I'm a Congolese who's living in South Africa. So I'm not Nigerian. So you guys don't think that I'm speaking on behalf of Nigerian. I'm only speaking about these things because it pains me as an African man to see in your country, in your continent, your own continent, your own people that are supposed to be protecting you are out there shooting you for no reason. Police is just stopping people out of the blue. Yo, come in. If you can be walking out there, just walking, you know, playing music, just, you know, on your iPhone, whatever, you just walk and the police stop you. Just for having an iPhone, police will stop you and they want to search your iPhone. Should you just speak a word or two, you are gone. You're arrested. Should you try to, you know, fight your way out, you're shot. You cannot walk in a group right now. In Nigeria, if you're walking in a group and probably one of you guys, you know, or two of you guys decide to have iPhones out. So those police will actually just stop you out of the blue and ask you what is on your iPhone. I mean, that's my iPhone. Dog, if I'm doing crime, if I'm doing, you know, you know, uh, what can I say? If I'm doing illegal stuff, do you think, do you think that I'm going to have everything on my iPhone? You know, my personal phone. Do you think I'm going to be able to do crime or everything and then leave it on my phone? I could give you my phone and you probably wouldn't see anything that's hidden in the phone. Now, what I'm trying to say is that police are actually stopping people, killing people for wrong reason. They're searching laptops. Students now are getting searched for no reason. I mean, that actually, as much as you want to obey the law, you know, allow them to do their job. Yes, we allow SARS to do their job. But we actually mean, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not a Nigerian by birth. I'm not a Nigerian by anything. But um, I'm an African, so these things that are happening in Africa right now actually affects us Africans. And if no one is talking about it, it even adds more pain. 
because I mean, you are in Africa, everything that happened in Africa, your brothers and sisters are getting killed that day. Just because they're not your biological brother doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you know, send your, 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 your thought of prayers or your thought, you know, of condolences to that country. Now, these things that are happening right now as police brutality, straightforward, police brutality, killing people for no reason. Should you have tattoos in public? You got an iPhone, you just, or you just drive a nice car. Then you get shot by police. Cause wow, you suspected for crime, or maybe you just because because you're black, or maybe because uh, because you're black and you're Nigerian. Obviously, to them now you've been doing some business called yao yao whatever as a scam, whatever scam, internet scamming, all that whatever they do there, just scamming people. Now that is what I am against. You know, I'm not against police doing the job. I just do not like the fact that police have to abuse the power and just hitting people, shooting people for no reason assaulting people for no reason because they're strictly because they are dressed properly or because they are they've got some tattoo on their body because they appear rich because of the car they drive or of the phone they have i mean you don't know where the person comes from though you policeman yes we we trust you to guide us to protect us but then you cannot just out of the blue have your assumption or a person saying that this person is a criminal because they have this sort of car. You don't know how hard the person had to work for that car. And you don't know how hard the person had to suffer for that phone that they got. Now, all of a sudden, because they have that, you feel like they're a the criminal because of the stigma that is being put around Nigeria. That is also one thing that I need to address. The stigma that has been placed on Nigerians. I mean, the whole world right now thinks of Nigerian being a scam house, like a scam place where scammers are born, where scammers are born. That is very wrong. Now, the truth is this, in Nigeria, there are people that are very intellectual here, very intelligent, very smart, geniuses, you know what I mean? But then with every good fruit, there are few that are always bad fruit. Now, the thing with Africa is Africa is known to go viral for bad things. You know what I mean? There's nothing that Africa is going to do that's very nice and then goes viral all of a sudden the whole world accepts or embraces it. They don't do it. Africa is only known to go viral for things that are not right. And those people publish it out there. That's how they do. They publish Africa being a place of hunger. Uh, people with people didn't study. People live with lions and, and dogs and all that shit. Africa is known for bad things. They go viral for bad things. Oh, where did Ebola come from? Oh, it came from Africa. It came from Congo. Oh, it's, 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 it, that's what that's what they only know. That's the only thing that is there. Where is crime coming from? Oh, crime is from Nigeria. Crime crime is from South Africa. Robbery is from Nigeria. That's the only thing that they know. That's what they're bringing out there. That's the stigma they have of Africa. That is why it's coming down to this. Now the pressure of the whole world claiming Nigerians to be criminals and all that stuff now falls on the current president of Nigeria or the, gov the government of Nigeria that's there right now. It's now saying, okay, now we need to really be tough on this thing. We need to be tough on, on crime. You know, we need to break things down. We need to go extra miles just to break this so-called internet robbing or robbery or whatever they do or scamming. We need to go hard on that. It is good to do that. But it's not good to a way that you're abusing your power by killing other people. Innocent people are getting, are getting killed for so-called uh, you guys doing your job. I mean, people cannot look good anymore. If you look good, whoa. You're a criminal somehow, some way. People cannot do good things no more. If you drive a nice car in Nigeria right now, as a young man, you are in crime or you're doing something that's not right to them. So they want to take that from you. So I want to ask you guys this question. This has to go out to whoever that is so-called a leader of Africa. Do you guys think that in Africa, we shall always remain people that beg? Don't you think one day we're going to have the knowledge to go out there and you know so-called sow for ourselves and then after a few time and then reap it don't you guys think that we can just wake out of the blue and invent something that will bring millions and millions and millions of dollars in africa now in my understanding now as an african kid you're not allowed to dream big as soon as you dream big and you make it big all of a sudden you are doing robbery or you are in crime. Now that mentality has got to stop. The mentality of police thinking that every black person in Nigeria who drives a nice car has got a good tattoo or if you got a good iPhone or you just appear rich that you are doing crime. 
that has got to stop not every person that lives in nigeria who owns a nice car who's got a good phone is a criminal that has got to stop now that is the thing that we are fighting against we're not fighting against police we're not fighting against the protection of police we need police yes we're fighting against the brutality or the limitation the mindset of police thinking that when a person is black and is from nigeria that person is doing crime if a person makes it he's doing crime that is the mentality that we're fighting against we gotta end sars sars has got to stop so that's it for today's video guys if you like what you see if you like what you heard go ahead and subscribe turn on the post notification leave a comment down below share the video with other people and i'll see you again soon on my next video is your favorite youtuber in the building crystal lingo aka the code